Welcome to the beautiful green, mountainous and very cold Cameron Highlands. So we arrived here last night to the town of Tanarata, we think it's pronounced, which is the main town here in the Cameron Highlands area. And the Highlands is basically just a huge mountainous area right in the centre of Malaysia here. It is nothing what we thought it was going to be like, and it is nothing like any area in Malaysia or Thailand that we have been so far. It is so, so cold here, and it's literally like winter. And when we got here last night, the town was completely lit up as if it was like Christmas time. All the trees have loads of colourful lights on it, and there's a real like heavy mist and dew just covering the whole town and the whole area as well but we're going to be here for the next maybe three or four days we think and we're here to do a couple of different activities we're looking to get out and do a lot of hiking around the mountains hopefully a bit of mountain biking and hopefully visit some of the really old and ancient rainforests in the area as well So we've been chatting to quite a few locals this past while as well and we were telling them we were coming here to the Highlands to do a bit of hiking and they all kind of had the same response and same reaction. They were very worried for us, told us to make sure to definitely come with a guide and just to be very, very careful and really respectful to the forest as well. Because the forests here are so, so old, I think someone's over like 150 million years old, you supposedly have to talk to the forest and communicate with them. So like if you're going to the bathroom, you have to ask permission to go to the bathroom and then thank the forest and thank mother nature after for using the bathroom and we've also been told that it's very very easy to get lost in these forests also and that's the main reason why you're told to come with a guide is that they're meant to have kind of mythical and kind of these spiritual powers as such and according to the people we've been talking to who all, literally all said the same a lot of people go into like a trance mode nearly whenever they're in the forest kind of lose their minds a wee bit get completely lost and disorientated as well but <laughs> we kind of done a bit of reading and we do think that we're okay so so we have come out without a guide today. We're heading on a four to five hour hike up to the top of the mountains to do a big loop walk here. Now we're pretty confident we should be okay. We've got our routes and all mapped out on our phone and we think we're gonna be 100%, but we are prepared that we potentially might get a bit lost as well. And we do think we're gonna get washed out with rain as well because it's been raining quite a lot since we've got here so far. But we're gonna get on track now, keep walking and hopefully have a really good day out in the mountains. Maybe not the best route, but oh well. It worked. <laughs> We're doing so well. We're so close to the top already. Smashing it, we think. <laughs> <laughs> According to our app, we're going the right way. However, it has like rained pretty much this past like 45 minutes, but we're kind of under shelter, so it's not too bad with the trees. And It's yeah, quite refreshing. I think it's hard, it's quite refreshing. It's like a pure jungle. It's like something you would see in like Jumanji. I was going to say, I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Look at all the mist. Ooh, it's so eerie. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh. Somebody just left their t-shirt. Creepy. Weird. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, I've missed the mountain so much. <laughs> Made us, we think. <sighs> Time for a rest, a refuel, a wee drink, and then back on the road. So, once we actually got up to the top here, it was Really, really cloudy to say the least, but thankfully after about five minutes or so, it started to clear up and the views are absolutely unreal. So we've stopped for a bit of lunch, but we better get back on the road because we, I think we still have a few hours ahead of us. So let's go. <laughs> the 
the good news is the part we were at for lunch there was actually the top so it's the highest peak we're going today and it wasn't too hard at all to get up to so it is all downhill from here ah. <laughs> <laughs> the path is literally so narrow you wouldn't need to be any size i'm literally walking through like this because there's that many cobwebs and things hitting me in the face <sighs> oh. let's keep going let's go So the path is super slippy, but thankfully we've come across this rope because I don't think we could get down this without slipping. Kathleen's <sighs> having to give herself a wee wash down after falling at least five different times coming down the slope. I still think I did pretty well considering the conditions. <sighs> So the path led us to a bit of a waterfall. We thought we were gonna be walking alongside it, but next thing you know, the path is going straight down here. Really is testing out the rope that we have to use to go down the side of the waterfall. How secure does it feel? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Am I supposed to trust that? I think so. <laughs> it's like a bungee. Okay. Where you go. following all along here until there was no more path so we had to cross over the waterfall and then we realized that this yellow rope was our new path <laughs> big thumbs up from Owen though so it's okay When we said we were going to go for a hike this morning, I had no idea what we were getting ourselves in for. I thought it was going to be a bit of a jungle hike, a bit of a peak, some mountains, some maybe tea fields. But what we found has just been absolutely gorgeous. This waterfall is amazing. Dance. Your jungle dance. Jungle dance. Rainforest boogie. Keep the rain away. <laughs> Hello pups. Hello. Aren't you lovely? You look like a little fox. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Well, Mr. Tour Guide. We are taking it. We could either cut straight down there, but there's a man there. So yeah, let's just take the path. So we'll go down here and take the road. That's a, a real legit road. Woohoo! Road? Yeah, road. <laughs> okay, so I think we're walking through, walking to some tea plantations now. So that should be interesting.
That was very cool. So our past just literally took us through like a wee local village, which I'm assuming is just like very much filled with like farmers and just kind of people working out here and the tea plantations and stuff. And there was loads of kids around. Everybody was super, super friendly, all waving, saying hello. But it was a very cool experience just to walk through and see kind of a different way of life, I suppose, out here. Cool, very cool. So this is actually my first time ever seeing tea leaves or a tea farm and it has been so, so cool. The hills have just been amazing to look at and it's all you can see for miles. Wow! How many legs do he has? 300? <laughs> The tea plantations here are so, so pretty to look at. They are literally so, so green. They're like a proper, like really like bright, bright green. And they're absolutely beautiful. And it has been so, so nice just being able to walk through them as well here. And the whole hike of the day has just been absolutely amazing in general. We have had such a good time. And we're making it just to the road now. So I think this next stage, it's like an hour's road walk back to where we started in the village. But I think we might try to hitch a lift because it is starting to rain again. I don't really fancy walking down the road in the rain for an hour so hopefully we'll try to hit you left and get back to town in no time. So it turns out we thought we were walking through like a really remote tea kind of plantation farm in the middle of the mountains and then next thing we knew we were in the middle of loads of wee cafe shops and there was loads of tourists around so where we actually were and where we came into was the Bart Group Tea Farms or Plantations whatever you want to call them Tea Folly actually I think is the name so this is the follies that we were walking through we just came from a really backwards mountainous way, mountainous way. So if you do want to come and check them out, it is very, very cool. It has been an absolute blast walking through them and we've enjoyed them so, so much. But that is where we are at the minute, is the Bart Tea, Bart Tea Far, Bart Tea Folly. <laughs> so we couldn't have timed that any better. We started walking about five minutes, then the rain started and a lovely fella pulled in and offered us a lift right to the town that we're staying in. It is literally teeming down right now, so we got so, so lucky, but we we're so happy that he offered us a lift. We cannot remember the name of the actual trail that we've done, but we'll link it down here below. We find it in all trails. It took us about five and a half hours, even though it said online it would take four hours. But I would definitely say check it out because it's so much fun. But we're going to call it a day here, grab some dinner and then have an early night because we are tired, we are hungry and it is teeming down. And hopefully come back out tomorrow for a bit more of an explore around the Highlands area. So today we are out again, it is our final evening here in the Cameron Highlands but to be honest with you, our trip here hasn't really went as planned at all. The first day that we got here we went out for our hike and we had such a good day, the weather was on side but since then it hasn't done anything but rain and the two of us have got a cold as well so we really haven't got up to too much. We've literally spent this past two days lying in our accommodation feeling absolutely crap. We've constantly been running the toilet, just being sick and like yesterday I had no energy, could hardly even get out of bed and it's just been a really shitty few days to be honest with you. So we haven't got up to as much as what we were hoping to yeah. but we still enjoyed our time here. It's just been unfortunate the circumstances but yeah. if you are coming expect it to be a lot colder and your body maybe to go into a bit of shock especially yeah. coming from some of the warmer places that we've been. But yeah so tomorrow we are moving on from the highlands here and we are making our way to Kuala Lumpur which is a seven hour journey we think so it's a big big bus trip but we're looking forward to that trip and hopefully we'll be feeling much better hopefully we'll get out and do much more exploring around there and you never know maybe in the future very soon again we'll get out and we'll do a wee bit more hiking around the mountains here in Malaysia. 